Hi, I'm Brooke Hayes. I'm Jonathan Hayes. And we are Wyatt's parents. Wyatt has been with us for about seven months now, and we adopted him from China. The process start to finish took about um, a little over a year for us. He got around really well, but he had a pretty severe limp. When we got home, we uh, had several medical appointments that uh, had already been scheduled, and he was officially diagnosed with cerebral palsy. He wasn't potty trained. He was four and a half and wasn't potty trained. And we honestly didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel on that. We thought he was going to definitely be in diapers for a long time. And so that was one of his teachers when we came to Peace Plus. That was one of her first goals with him was like, let's get him potty trained. I know he can do this. So. When we um, brought him to Pete's Plus, it was just the whole fit. Um, they worked on his speech, they worked on his, he's now potty trained, um, which is so exciting. When he was four at the time, and as far as we knew, had never received any sort of services, um, physical therapy at all. It's amazing how incredibly well he got around, considering his alignment. But he did, so he did, he was very prone to falling. He's come so far. His um, physical therapist sent me a video at work of him running down the hallways. And so that's a big difference that we've seen. Um, just the efficiency with his walking balance. He's not falling nearly as much. Um, he's running. So, which really was something that was really difficult for him. We had never seen his right heel touch the ground. He'd been a toe walker. He'd been a toe walker you know, so long, and he had oak life. hills on the ground and was just taken off running. And I just sat at my desk and cried because I was like, I didn't think we'd ever see the day that that, that um, heel came down all the way. And that was a huge moment that we got to celebrate. He has such a good relationship with his physical therapist, but also his teachers. Uh, I mean, he's so excited to be able to come to school every morning and. They have just the best relationship. Some days I really think that he would rather just stay here than when I pick him up. He loves his teachers that much. One of the first phrases I heard from him, like completely in English, was, that's my school when we pulled up. And my heart just sunk that day because I was like, he, he has ownership. He knows that he's loved there. When we first saw him, we were just amazed at how resilient he was. I mean, he just would try anything, did not let his disabilities get in his way. Um, and that's actually why we chose the name Wyatt. His name um, in one translation means warrior, and so we always call him Wyatt our warrior. We're just working on improving his balance, so with walking and standing. Basically just ensuring that he's able to conquer his world. So get around and do everything that he, his little heart and his determination and his will um, wants him to do. He's done awesome, and we just can't be thankful enough for what all Pete's Plus has done for us.